people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, there was a report that came out today that basically stated that George Cambosos Jr. will be making his first defense of his titles in the lightweight division in Australia, in Melbourne, against none other than Vasyl Lomachenko. There was a report that came out from Michael Coppinger basically saying that uh, Lomachenko has signed his part of the contract. Now, I want to use this video as a as a warning and as a as a plea to boxing fans to please, for the love of God, do not believe everything reported by Michael Coppinger. I mean, this is the same guy that just not too long ago reported that you know Canelo was fighting Bivol and 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 GGG, and then we come to find out via Eddie Reynoso that it was all uh, bullshit. It was all not to be. So, you know, you, you take what Coppinger says with a, with a grain of salt. Yes, he may be an insider, but it doesn't mean that everything he reports is the truth. We've seen that in the past on a, on a couple of occasions. Um, you know, with these kind of things, right, George is the A side. So until you get it from the A side, you don't really want to believe anything. You know, there, there's still, a, there's still a, ch a chance for, you know, a, a, something to change at the 11th hour. These things happen in boxing with Devin or who knows, maybe maybe they work out something with Ryan. Because I'm of the belief that Ryan Garcia will fight George Cambosa this year. That's why I think that, you know, Ryan Garcia is fighting Tego because Tego's manager and promoter is the same as George Cambosa Jr. It all, it all lines up and Robert Garcia has said some things about that and Ryan Garcia did an interview recently saying that DAZN wants him to fight uh, Cambosa. So there's reason to believe that this isn't official, but in the event that it is official, you know, I'll say this. I think it's, uh, you know, credit to George Cambosa. He's really going to go out there and test himself in his first defense if he's fighting Lomachenko because Lomachenko is in a great run of form right now. You know, he lost to T.O., and ever since that fight, he's just been absolutely on a rampage, pissed off for greatness, you know, beating up people like they stole something. Um, first, he beat up uh, Nakatani, which is a fight that a lot of people thought was going to be a, a bit of a tough fight. You know, I thought it would be a tough I, I thought it would be a tougher fight than it actually wound up being, and he beat the shit out of him. And then the last fight, he fought Komei and, and beat him pretty easily as well. So now people are kind of like believing in Lomachenko again, and this is a chance for him to uh, uh, add to his greatness, to reestablish his greatness in the 135-pound division because uh, Vasily Lomachenko is a pound-for-pound -pound talent. He's a pound-for-pound -pound caliber fighter, but a lot of people may not put him on the pound-for-pound -pound list because he's lost recently. So, uh, you know, it, it's a chance for him to, to, to regain the throne at 135. And for uh, for Cambos, it, it, it's a chance to de defend the dirt, defend your home turf in front of, you know, your, your home crowd that I believe will be there to give him a, a big boost you know, George Cambosos Jr. is is one of the hardest working fighters in the sport. This is a guy that you know he made he he made his way from the local show from nothing from from having little to no money, flying his way out to wild card gym to spar and put hundreds and hundreds of rounds in with the likes of Manny Pacquiao when sparring guys like Jose Ramirez and Sergey Lipinets to you know coming to South Florida and sparring guys like Xander Zayas, Emmanuel Tego. Amir and mom and the list goes on and on. So he's he's put the work in and he's prepared himself and he's gonna get his ultimate test against Vasily Lomachenko. So I'm looking very forward to seeing what George will do with that style if this is in fact the, the fight that's gonna happen next. But I just I have a reason to not believe it because of who's reporting it. Michael Coppinger, you know, Michael Coppinger, you know, I don't know him. I don't have a problem with him or nothing like that. Never, I don't know him. I don't really care to know him. But like Michael Coppinger, he got caught out recently. Reporting false information with uh, Lomachenko and uh, Canelo, not with um, Canelo and Bivol and the GGG thing. So I just question everything. And then there's been things, that, there's been times in the past where you, he he's just been caught out. So you know, we'll see what happens. And you can't you can't even rule out Devin Haney because I know Eddie Hearn's gonna do his best and try to and try to make offers to Devin Haney. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my my initial thought and my initial reasoning, which is that you know the zone. All parties involved, the, the powers that be in boxing, the movers and shakers of the sport, they want Ryan Garcia to become the star because he has the demographic and he has the potential to be a superstar. He already he, he already is a superstar, whether you like it or not, to the younger generation that doesn't normally watch boxing. So with that being said and with that being established here on True School, True School Sports, I think come hella high water, 
They're going to try to give Ryan all the opportunities in the world to become a superstar. And if it has to be against George Cambosa, then so be it. Devin won't get the fight. Loma won't get the fight. None of these guys won't get the fight. So I want to maintain my belief in that because of who Ryan is fighting next and what Robert Garcia said and what Ryan said himself. But for the time being, Lomachenko versus George Cambosa looks like it's going to happen June the 5th. So you guys can save the date, you know, uh, tentatively because it's not been finalized from the um, Cambosa side of things. But... You know, if, if this is the fight we're getting, then, then, then it's great news for the 135 pound division to get some movement towards the top. Because if we get some movement towards the top and guys fighting at the top, it trickles down and the division will get active when we don't have to worry about these guys with the Twitter fingers. So leave your comments down below. Lomacheco versus uh, Cambosos. What do you think about it? What kind of chance are you giving George? Will George lose this fight and give the belt to Lomachenko? Will Lomachenko prove once again that he is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the sport. Let me know all that and more in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe because we're, we're inching close to that 40K. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.